place the snugly fitting hat on the patient, covering the low occipital part of the head. We define snugly fitting as no more than one finger fitting under the hat. Now make the neck roll. We use a simple washcloth rolled inside of a stockinette, which is gentle on the baby's skin. Place the neck roll behind the neck. Remove the cannulate from the paper. Start applying the cannulate from the middle, working gently towards the cheeks using the support of two fingers. Make sure the cannulate is above the filtering border and below the base of the nasal septum. Then gently press the cannulate into the skin. Take the upper part of the cannulate and gently stretch it around and over the nose. Any excess can be pinched on the top of the nose. Moisten the prongs using either sterile water or natural oral secretions. Now, using two fingers, gently wiggle the prongs into the nostrils until they fit securely. To confirm whether the application is correct, look at the nose from above. You should see a wide 4 to 5 millimeter space between the bridge and the septum as well as a visible 1 to 2 millimeter space between the upper edge of the Velcro and the base of the nasal septum. Have two pieces of tape prepared to secure the tubing to the hat. Ensure each tube has a connector. As you can see, the wider part of the connector should be facing away from the baby. On the white tube, the wider part should be positioned parallel to the valve and away from the baby's face. Supporting it with our hands, we make sure that the tubing is outside of the baby's eyes. Then, we gently tape the tubing to the hat. Make sure the tubes are positioned not on the frontal lobe, but closer to the ears. After this, the CPAP should...